Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for our 2016 Subaru Outback Wagon. First we have eTrailer's custom fit trailer hitch. Below that we'll have Kurtz. Next down we'll have Eco Hitches. And finally on the bottom we have Draw Tights. It's obvious by the appearance here that these are going to install vastly different. The two hitches on top are going to install under the vehicle. And the two hitches here on bottom are going to install behind the bumper. To install these hitches on top, you're going to have to lower down your exhaust. You will have to do some drilling. You'll have to enlarge some holes to make room for the hardware. You also have to drill out some holes in order to get that hardware installed onto your hitch. The hitches located here behind the bumper require no drilling. You do have to remove the fascia, but when you count the time that it takes to do drilling, I think these ones are a bit easier. The hitches that install behind the bumper will require you to cut out a section of the bumper for the hitch to poke through. This is towards the bottom, so you won't even really notice that you've made any incisions on your bumper. Because these install behind the bumper, the crossbar here is going to be hidden completely. You're only going to be able to see the receiving tube right out the back. While these, on the other hand, are going to be seen below the bumper. The cross tube is going to be visible, so if you want that clean hidden look, you may want to look at the other options. Some features that really stand out on our draw type is that it has the extra hole located here, which allows it to use a J-pin. J-pin's a nice device because it can press in the hole and lock whatever's in your receiver tube tight, acting as an anti-rattle device. While our other three options are only gonna have a location for a 5 8 inch hitch pin, though there are also anti-rattle options for a 5 8 inch hitch pin hole. The draw site also has hoop style safety chain loops. These are nice because they have a very large inner opening and the smaller rounded bar makes it easy to work with just about every style safety chain. While our other three options all have plate style safety chain loops. While these still function fine, the opening's a little bit smaller, so it might not work with every safety chain that would function on the draw type. And when it comes to our weight ratings for these hitches, they're all gonna be the same except our Eco Hitch here. The E-Trailer, Kurt, and Draw Tight are gonna have a 600 pound tongue weight with a 4,000 pound gross towing capacity while our Eco Hitch is only going to have a 350 pound tongue weight and a 3,500 pound gross towing capacity. And none of these hitches are rated to work with a weight distribution system. They also all have different finishes. The E-Trailer Hitch has a matte finish, which is going to be nice because it'll hide blemishes and scratches that may occur over time where a gloss finish would show up very prevalent. Our Kurt's going to have that glossy finish, so it does look nice, but it will show scratches that occur over time a little bit more than another style finish. And our draw tight's gonna have somewhat of a similar gloss finish. The Eco Hitch has a hammered finish. This is gonna be a little bit more durable than your other styles. So this hitch will maintain its good looks for a much longer period of time. If you're deciding between the E-Trailer and the Kurt, the only real difference between them is gonna be the finish. If you're deciding between the Eco Hitch and the draw tight, there are gonna be a few more differences. The Eco Hitch is gonna have less weight rating. It's also gonna come with some additional hardware that'll replace the factory hardware, as well as a nice trim panel that is gonna clip in place around the incision that you make for the receiver to stick through. Another thing to keep in mind is clearances. The E-Trailer and Kurt are gonna have the same clearances, which is gonna be two and a quarter inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, and 15 and a quarter inches from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube. The Eco Hitch is gonna have two and a half inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, and 16 inches from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube. Our draw tight is gonna have three inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, and 15 and a half inches from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube. This is important when determining if any of your accessories are gonna have clearance or contact issues when using the hitch. So in summary, when it comes to the ease of installation, it's gonna be a tie between our eco hitch and our draw tight here. In my personal opinion, it's easier to remove the rear fascia than it is to crawl underneath and drill out some holes for the lower mounting style. When it comes to towing capacity, that's gonna be a tie between our E-Trailer, Kurt, and our draw tight. They all have the same ratings. Our Eco Hitch here is gonna lag behind in how much it can handle. If you're concerned about appearance, that's gonna be a tie between our Eco Hitch and our draw tight. So they're gonna look a little bit better as they're gonna be hidden beneath the bumper. And for overall versatility, we're gonna to have to give that to the draw tight. Because it's tied with the others for the highest weight rating, it has the additional use for a J-pin, and the hoop-style loops will just work better with very large and very small safety chains. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for your Subaru Outback Wagon.